just can't do it for a second. I mean, they do look kind of similar. I don't know. Brawlers. Now, any of the Lumac players in chat want to tell me about this matchup? They are probably going to say that it's even for whatever reason. But we and they're have wrong. Tarkata, <laughs> yeah, probably wrong. Uh, but in terms of results and probably the seeding here, Tarkatori is definitely the better. Oh, okay, yeah, uh, definitely the better. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, Hard maybe matchup. perhaps the better player between the two. Uh, Onjoji being one of the best uh, Tokyo Snake players out there amongst the two billion Snoko Tokyo Snake players. Like, there really are a lot. Um, I mean, it's the same internationally. I think Snake has to probably be, like, one of the most represented characters in the world when it comes yeah. to the top level. And uh, Onjoji is just one of the many Snake players out there worldwide that you probably haven't heard of. Um, coming up against him though, Takatori quite comfortable with the one stock lead and KO punch yeah. Onjoji has to really watch out how he approaches. I think Takatori hit him like twice and killed. Because yeah. like, Onjoji was at like 60%, just like a mixture of grenades. Yeah, yeah rough. <laughs> Excellent start from Takatori at the moment. Onjoji just seeming like he can't really quite find his footing at the moment, but the feet are found through that down oh, tilt. Yeah, that doesn't kill. That does not kill. Chill out. Oh, oh, item play. Take a step back. Okay, oh, Onjoji's dash, dash attack. Oh my god. Well avoided. Takatori gets back on stage. Really playing a patient game right now, and I mean, you really don't need to approach at this point. Onjoji not going for the Nikita, actually just going for an up smash that's going to be able to connect eventually. And now the stocks are even, but Takatori definitely ahead in terms of percent. Second grenade still pokes. Countering the grenade, oh. that is a crap ton of damage on Onjoji. Ooh! Onjoji's fine though. How does Takatori catch the landing? Up smash, interesting idea. And he did. Little Mac doesn't really have that much options. Yeah. Like, I mean, what, like RB? But then, like, if you miss <laughs> the RB, you're gonna take a ton of damage. Nah! And, like, Aerial does. Aerial RP does less, right? Yeah. Okay. I feel like one of these. Like, and Andrej is kind of very. Oh! Very carelessly jumping over Tarkatori a little bit. And I think one of these days he's gonna get caught by an RB on reaction, maybe. Like a grounded RB. Yeah, the kill. But. Okay, it's actually Tarakatori that survives amongst the two. Uh, both of them kind of in a DBZ moment there. Onjoji can't be edging around too carelessly here. He's taking his jump this time around though. The grenade, really good coverage by him. Tarakatori can't go for any kind of two frame. Well, he could have down smash, I suppose, but... I mean, when you're in the lead like this, you really don't need yeah. to uh, overextend, per se. Tarakatori playing the slow game, as is Onjoji. <laughs> Trying to look for a late back air and the up tilt. Up tilt definitely kills. Forward throw. Oh, that's a bad. What does Andrej yeah. do here? Up smash, another up smash. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah the tag story with the awareness to shield the second one. He does not have amnesia. <laughs> ah! I call that one the Alexander Torres, but only 10 people get that reference. Oh! Oh, is this one the same thing? <laughs> Releasing the ledge into what? Oh, yeah, I'm a commentator. I'm definitely a commentator. I don't know why this came up on the screen. <laughs> okay, whatever. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Okay, I think the game's ended. No, never mind. Can't catch the second down tilt on Georgia with the Nikita. How does Tarkatori recover? Beautifully. I may speak if I if I may say so. All right, that's that's no. Oh, the grenade actually uh, saved him. Yeah, down tilt. Okay, killed right. Dash right. that go. One hundred and four percent on Andrzej. He is fighting for his life at the moment. <laughs> Takatori with a couple hits will probably be able to find the end of the game, but he can't play too carelessly right now. Yeah, little oh like can die at like any percent. <laughs> oh, grenade clutching him out. I was also gonna say Andrzej be reversed away with a grenade, and that saved him from a mess match, but. This time around is not going to save you from a haymaker, and Tarkatori just about goes up again. Like, the lead was fairly comfortable, but also at the same time, Onjojo was constantly keeping up yeah. after a certain pace. So it felt like if Onjoji <laughs> develops the lead in the next game, I feel like it'd be really rough. He kind of gave Tarkatori the lead at the start, right? Yeah, he, he really gave him that lead. <laughs> it was like a humble donation, yeah, yeah. like 20, 20 seconds-ish. Tarkatori murdered him while we were like introducing the players. One, go! Okay. The same stage. Okay. Uh, are we gonna see the same thing? Just yeah, probably. I don't know. 
Takatori with that excellent uh, song choice, I might say. This is the, uh, what's it? The Xenoblade 2 DLC. Oh. I'm playing it right now. It's really fun. Takatori, obviously. I think he picked Pyramithra because he's like a really big fan of the game, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Like, I see him talking about Pyramithra more than Little Mac. <laughs> I wonder why. Yeah, I wonder. <laughs> Dude, Little Mac is so hot! Oh, okay. Hey, can you back, get back to the side B? Wow, what a recovery. I thought uh, he was really running out of resources there after using the Haymaker early, but what a smart way of recovering. Takatori just trying to find the kill at the moment, oh, but that's unfortunate. Wow, yeah. Unfortunate or perhaps a stroke of genius from Onjoji as he manages to find the first kill. And this is exactly what I'm talking about. The moment that Onjoji finds the first kill is camping mode. We are playing defensive as hell. Up a stuff? Yeah, precisely so. You do indeed know the vibes. However, Takatori looking for catching the landing and completely unfazed by that B reverse manages to find the stock. Onjoji slightly in the lead, but Takatori can definitely catch up. Fight that first hit, bro. Fight that first hit. Oh. Ah! oh. Okay, we're good. Kills on Ooh. Deck Lovely catch over the landing there. Takatori just hasn't had a single opportunity to respond in this stock right now. Onjoji playing beautifully. Probably a counter, maybe, to get away from this. Yeah. He sees it, but does he get the punish? Yeah, he didn't see that, uh, or rather, he did expect the cross up. Regardless though, uh, Onjoji manages to find the stock. What does Takatori do here? Of course he does. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Onjoji though, a little too smart for that uh, interaction. Recovering low. Oh god, watch out when you're boxing against Lil Mac at the ledge there. Onjoji really likes his down tools, which is quite interesting. I feel like down tilt isn't something that you necessarily... Because you don't end up in situations where you try to outspace Little Mac in the first place because <laughs> Little Mac just moves so fast. It's not it's not that precise of a matchup. You don't need to be that precise. You just need to like whack him off stage. So like down tilt, I don't know. Wow, ah, that yeah. was a why, why am I criticizing on Georgia? I need to shut up. <laughs> okay, anyway, Tarakata. Oh, the footstool. Oh, he was going crazy for a second, but I mean, he's looking good now. Yeah, the counter a little that too rented, but fantastic DI from Takatori. 103% though, one more up tilt, and he is being blasted into the heavens. Oh. The haymaker out of nowhere. Taking the stock. Was that like a sour spot type of Like, I've never. I, didn't know they I don't it. think haymaker is a sour spot. It doesn't? Okay. No, it shouldn't. I, I felt like it set like a little too slow. It, it, it was a little odd, but it, it got the job done. I think haymaker just is usually that strength. How does Takatori recover here? A roll get up going unpunished, and that is a bit of damage. Oh, aerial back combos? <laughs> yup, yup. <laughs> feel like that up, up, uh, the uh, up air finisher is like something that you see quite often. Up tilt, up tilt, up tilt, and up air. It actually could, like, puts them into a fairly awkward spot on the platform. Good patience. Ah! He pulled the KO puncher. <laughs> Doesn't kill. KO punch is gone now, but Takatori's still alive. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 that was like the fifth counter. <laughs> yeah. And on Joji, his camera is blurry, but his mind is clean as ever. And watch, we'll go and fix that up. We will get that fixed up immediately. Don't worry. Bit of adaptation coming in from on Joji, but I think, uh, don't know what Tark Story does here. I think he stays mag, that's for sure. I think so, yeah. yeah. And we have Hollow Bastion. Oh. I got the privilege of playing Takatori at a local recently. Um, he went Pyramithra because he hates Mim and Little Mac, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, he plays Pyramithra like Little Mac. It's very funny. Oh. <laughs> he, like, like he, his Mithra is like fairly normal. It's like very reactive as opposed to being read based or like pressure based. Yeah. Uh, he kind of just look, watches you do something stupid and then punishes you for it. The moment he switches to Pyramithra, is F smash time. I don't think he's used any other move with Pyro ever. It, it's, a, it's a very funny Pyramithra. But um, yeah, sticking to the low mag, we have Hollow Bastion this time around. Giving Onjoji a little more space, which is quite interesting, but at the same time, Tarkatori is probably going to be wiped off stage a little less often, and that was really dangerous. He no doesn't jump. have a jump, and Onjoji with a very early stock. Looking good for him at the moment. So unfortunate for Tarkatori on the other hand. Taking a bunch of damage. Beer Bastion through. Oh god, this is bad. Yeah, the dash attack sends in a really low angle. Yep. Avoiding the up tilt hitbox, up to the down air. The, the momentum kind of swings in a really weird way with that move. 
Oh, actually, catch Atlanta with a down air multi hit. Do you see a counter again? Yes, we yeah. do. <laughs> All right, Takatori, what do you do here? I, th I think you Four. might as well KO punch, to be honest, at this point. I think. Oh. Okay, well, no. my bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fair enough, and oh wow, Anjoji using the explosion of the grenade and then back airing off of it. Simple stuff at the moment, Takasori just can't seem to keep up unless he finds this up B. Never mind. <laughs> That's bit of Ooh, grab release into the grenade. This guy's playing like an absolute genius right now. He's got the Shogun in him. B reversing away from the up smash. This time around, the up smash is going to connect. But he's still down a full star. Yeah, so. this is rough. But, to be fair, mm -hmm. if it's anyone, it's Takatori that does these. One one hit away from KO Punch. Right? 38. KO Punch hits I'll now. Unless he gets edge guarded. Counter? Neutral get up with KO Punch. No, okay. Andrew <laughs> maybe responded to that. He was like, ooh, I might get hit by that. You're right. <laughs> Let's try Stone end at the moment and the roll read. Simple stuff in that game mm -hmm. three. Wow, that was a really good adaptation. Or rather, maybe not adaptation, but just like, uh, he just he, didn't get yeah. steamrolled in the <laughs> game like how he did in game one. Seems like a coin flip matchup, which is kind of weird to say about Little Mac Snake. But oh, like, even if even if he was behind, he was still like catching up. And then if you're like, if you're behind his Little Mac, and then mm -hmm. you're like screwed. Yeah. It's like, yeah, you're really <laughs> done for. All right, watch his fix in the camera. Obviously, uh, that was a that was a bit of a mess. Uh, oh, Kelt's playing on the. He is, the and he's playing. Uh, is that Torisamiru? Yeah, it is. I have Kelt as well. <laughs> How are we doing, by the way? Um. I have Genesis in about oh yeah two weeks now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's very weird to think about. Are you excited? Yeah, of course. Do, wait, do, do you get the commentary? Um, I've been told uh -huh. that they are aware of my existence, <laughs> <laughs> but there's no solid commentary lineup, mm -hmm. and I haven't been promised anything. Okay. Um, I'm fine with not commentating. Because I'm there as a player either way. Oh, I'm kinda just you're like competing. Injured. I'm competing. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Like you don't you don't compete in like like the yeah. recent ma like majors and stuff. That's so. mainly because I guess like people know me for being staff, so like I get a lot of people coming up to me to help like translate and oh. stuff like that. Um, but I think over there I'll probably have a little more freedom. Or rather, like a lack of responsibility mm -hmm. on my shoulders, having to be like the one translation guy, because there'll be like loads of them there that have always been doing that job. So I won't, I won't really need to bother much. Obviously, I'll be walking around the venue helping people out, but. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, no, no. Genesis said that they would um, remove my uh, entry fee if I actually help out. Help out.